Good evening. We would like to acknowledge that this production is taking place in Unamagi, the ancestral land of the Mi'kmaq people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wanda Earhart from Every Woman Center. Diane Parley, Every Woman Center. And I'm Morley Morricott. And I have been joining Wanda and Diane for the past eight or nine years coordinating the International Women's Day concert. And over the years, we've normally had about 200 women attend. We would have about 60 women on stage, including drummers and local choirs and a solo and duo performances. This year, we're going to have some solo performances. And most of the women are from all across Cape Breton Island. So you will see women from Sydney, North Sydney, Glace Bay, New Waterford, Sydney Mines, Ross Ferry, Bullandry Island, and also Shetty Camp. And this time last year, uh, the International Women's Day concert was probably one of the last large gathering events to happen before the big lockdown. Remember that, Diane? Yes, and we had to cancel our St. Patrick's Day party. We did. Yeah. So, as the Every Woman Center had to shut down, we were still there working. We were. Yeah. Um, so we decided at that time to do a series of videos um, so that people would know we were there and that they could reach out for help. And so we did that. We did about 17 videos. At least. <laughs> 17, yeah. Yeah. So as part of tonight, we're going to show a couple of those, a couple of our fun ones, um, so that people get an idea of what we were doing throughout the lockdown. And besides all of the wonderful entertainment that we're going to see, as the Every Woman Centre works with a lot of um, agencies throughout this, the region, we've invited a lot of them to send us videos, video greetings to their, on behalf of their agency or themselves. So we're going to see a lot of familiar faces tonight from people who we work with all through the year. All year long. So as I've been telling people for weeks, we hope you're in your comfy clothes, you got your snacks, and you're ready to enjoy a wonderful evening of entertainment. The first time we get to watch it. Oh, usually we're busy running around, setting up tables, cooking food. But I'm going to sit down, nice glass of wine, yeah. probably a bag of chips, mm -hmm. and watch the entire concert. And you. Awesome. And don't forget to join Joella and I in singing Bread and Roses at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of the Every Woman Center and Morley, happy International Women's Day. She had nowhere to go, she had nowhere to go, she had an ache in her heart, it takes a spark right out of her, but there's nowhere for her to go, no, 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 no. He didn't know how to love. He only knew how to push and shove And yes, he swore he'd find his way again one day Said he couldn't live without her love And they had two little girls Two sweet little baby girls And she tried to hide away some money Every pay vowed to save her little girls and he'd come home every night she never knew when there would be a fight well it might be the dishes the mess in the room god it could be the mess in the moon didn't matter she don't know where to go she had no But there's nowhere for her to go No, 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 no No, 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 no Oh yes, we'll ask the right questions And turn the right phrase Till our heart skips a beat 
feet. Now she sees through a haze. She thinks back to the time when they first fell in love. Oh, yes, they fell in love. Oh, God, they were in love. Her friends ask her, why do you stay? She turns her head and looks the other way. Oh, they couldn't understand the way he'd clutch her in his hand and then she just can't get up and walk away. And sometimes she feels so small, so small she feels nothing at all. So what does it matter if she leaves or she stays? There's no love. Either way, and she has nowhere to go. She has nowhere to go. She has an ache in her heart that takes a spark right out of her. But there's nowhere for her to go. No, 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 no. No, no, no. everyone and thank you for joining us in celebrating International Women's Day. My name is Alma Dunifin and I am the chair of the board of the Every Woman Center. So on behalf of the board of directors we want to welcome you to wish you a happy International Women's Day and to celebrate what what life has for us. You know COVID-19 has prevented us from being together physically but it hasn't prevented us from celebrating what it is to be a woman in this world and certainly in our province. What I wanna challenge you to do and impress upon you is to, is to really look at your own life at who are the women that really put that imprint on you that encouraged you, nurtured you, loved you, and mentored you along your, along your journey. So, Think of those people, um, celebrate them as well as what you've become as a result of them and enjoy the evening, enjoy the show. And for Wanda and her team that put this all together for us, congratulations and have a good evening. If you, if you could return, don't let it burn, don't let it fade. I'm sure I'm not being rude, but it's just your attitude. It's tearing me apart, it's ruining everything. I swore, swore I would be true, and honey, so do you. So why were you holding her hand? Is that the way we stand? We're lying all the time. Was it just a game to you? But I'm in so deep. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your feet. you always really knew I just want to be with you and I'm in so deep you know I'm such 
So folks have been asking, how can I support the cause tonight? We're going to help you out with that, right, Jake? You can e-transfer to helpinghandsewc at gmail.com. We really appreciate your support, and we hope you're enjoying International Women's Day. <laughs> Good day, folks, and happy International Women's Day. I am really inspired and loving this year's theme of Choose to Challenge. This is something I feel like I live every single day. When I feel comfortable, what do we do? We challenge ourselves. I think it was a, a wonderful challenge to take on the role as mayor here in the CBRM and to welcome my beautiful son Emmett at the same time. This is the stuff that we need to keep doing. And not only do we have to do this for ourselves, we have to help support one another in challenging one another. Keep supporting your friends, your families, your mothers, your daughters, your sisters. Challenge them, support them. This is the only way we're going to see progress. Um, I'm pleased that I see this every single day here in the CBRM. There are so many businesses that are run by women. There are so many organizations that are run by women. Um, and I see the younger generation looking up to us. They are living this motto of choose to challenge. They know how important it is that we live this every day. It, it's because they are just being led by the most wonderful examples. Again, happy International Women's Day and to many more.
everybody, here at the Women's Center. And I know I'm thinking way back to mid-March when everything shut down. I remember thinking then, okay, you know, two, three weeks of a little sacrifice until, you know, things get back to normal. Who would have thought seven weeks later we'd be here in isolation? So we just want to remind everybody that we are here and you can reach out. If there's anything you need, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. 567-1212 or visit the website everywomancenter.com and it's been great you know keeping in touch with everybody and and knowing what you're up to and it's been a couple of tough weeks and I know I come in here this morning thinking you know I really could use somebody to cheer me up in these really dark times. You asked for it? Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> and what is this? It's my glove. Unicorn glove. Oh, okay. No haircut. Don't want to shave my head. So I thought maybe I'd wear this. I Let found it out back in my Canada Day supplies. Mm -hmm. It could be a game. Oh, get that ring on this warm one. Aha! You know I'm good at Canada Day games. I know you are. So for everybody that doesn't know, we do lots of fun stuff around here. And what my favorite, my personal favorite, is Canada Day Games. You're liking yourself. I'm loving it. <laughs> huh. So this year we're not quite sure we're going to be doing it, but we're getting in the mood just in case. Just in case. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Do you like it? Really good. Can I go to the grocery store? Well, I don't know. You'd have to put a mask on so they don't know who you are, I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I like it. But anyway, wow, I think you did the trick. Thank you. And I hope everybody else enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> Great. All right. So anyway, with that, have, have a great week, and we hope to hear from everybody, and uh, stay safe. Tune in next week. God knows what I'll do then. <laughs> Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Stella Zahara, and I want to give you some more information about Access 808. Um, I am a social worker slash outreach worker with Access 808, which is a part of the caper based team, which is a part of Child and Adolescent Services through Mental Health and Addiction. Um, Access 808 is a drop-in center located at 808 George Street in Sydney for youth ages 16 to 24. Um, youth can just pop in if they feel like they need to talk to somebody, um, have some counseling, maybe get a referral. Um, and participate in group um, sessions as well. Um, we have a variety of staff that are housed um, in Access 808, the caper based team. Um, the majority of the staff um, service middle and high school students and offer group and individu individual sessions there. Um, we also have uh, Malcolm Campbell who is a rec therapist who goes into the schools and can also offer rec therapy at Access 808 as well. Um, Access 808 also has a number of services, including laundry facilities, um, uh, showers, uh, clothing room, emergency food closet, um, and we offer hygiene products, shampoo, conditioner, um, condoms, uh, pregnancy tests, things like that. Um, we're open late from Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have evening sessions. Of, um, we're open from 8 to 8. Um, our evening sessions are typically um, a combination of rec therapy and educational programs. Um, anybody is welcome to come and join those and you can just give us a call and let us know if you're interested in coming. Um, and if you want to check out uh, our website, it's caperbase. Dot com and we're also on Facebook now under Adolescent Outreach Services. Um, the house phone, if you want to give a call and do a tour or learn more about our services, you, you can just call the house at 539-7233 and my cell phone number is 574-5194. I do go out into the community once a week to the Adult Learning School um, and we are available to do presentations to your staff, um, to clients if you feel as though they would benefit from these services and you want people to learn more. Um, so if you're interested in any of these services, getting a tour or just learning more, um, give us a call or drop in and we'd be happy to do so. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.
des grains de paille, j'ai des orangers, j'ai du tri, j'ai des tricolis, j'ai des allumettes, puis j'ai des ananas, des racinusies, des riz fleuris, j'ai du zi, j'ai des zonosies, j'ai des zonosomies, j'ai des zonosos, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux oiseaux. La plus jeune sœur, c'est Veli, ma sœur, il est jour, il ma sœur, il est jour. Nos amants sont en guerre, ils combattent pour nous. Ah, j'ai du gras de lille, j'ai du gras de paille, j'ai de l'orange, j'ai du tri, j'ai du ticoli, j'ai des alunati, j'ai des ananas, des terrasses, des riz fleuris, j'ai du zi, j'ai du zanazi, j'ai des zanazani, j'ai des zanazo, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux oiseaux. Nos amants sont en guerre, ils combattent pour nous, ils combattent pour nous. S'ils gagnent la bataille, ils auront nos amours. Ah, j'ai du gras de mie. Women on Limitus, wishing you a happy International Women's Day.
happy International Women's Day from the Boom Chicks. Hello everyone. I'm Helen Morrison and I am with Cape Breton Transition House, Willow House. First of all, I want to thank uh, everyone from the Every Woman Center and all of those who made this evening possible. And what a wonderful way for us as women in our community to come together and to celebrate one another and to enjoy some wonderful music and a few laughs. And we can't do that in person this year, which is unfortunate, uh, but you know, kudos that it is happening even in this virtual sort of medium. So thank you all for uh, joining us this evening. Just wanted to mention that this uh, year we are celebrating our 40th anniversary here at Cape Breton Transition House, Willow House. And we are so proud and so excited to celebrate these 40 years, 40 years of growing and working with women and their children in our community, working with other, uh, you know, other agencies and organizations who uh, work so diligently and so tirelessly in our community to help those who are marginalized and those who are uh, in need of services. And, you know, and especially those who are women equality seeking organizations. So thank you all. I hope that you enjoy this International Women's Day concert tonight. And next year, next year, we will be holding hands and hugging, I hope, and welcoming each other back to an in-person concert. So let's go back to the enjoying of this concert. Happy International Women's Day. I guess I messed it up again this time. Lying and you weren't treating me right. Laughing at me just because I'm a lady. Looking at me like I've gone crazy. Should've never let it get this far. Driving and you wouldn't get in my car Since you've been gone, I've been thinking about it lately Let me tell you a little something, baby I don't take no shit for it I shouldn't have to get used to this Don't treat me like I'm something less Cause I see you got problems with yourself Was it really just all in my head? Cause you messed up my confidence I can't think cause of all this bad weather But I know I don't need your sweater Sweater. You're acting different when we're with all your friends Saying take it as a compliment I'm Saying words I can never forget And now you're acting like a little kid Give me a round just to make you shine Disrespect me but you say she's mine So I lie and pretend I'm fine But I'm dying on the inside I don't take no shit for it I shouldn't have to get used to this Don't treat me like I'm something less Cause I see you got problems with yourself Was it really just all in my head? Cause you messed up my confidence I can't think cause of all this bad weather But I know I don't need your sweater Oh no Oh I don't need your sweater You thinking about me cause I'm gone now Think of what you really lost how You let something so good just go Oh boy, I hope you know I don't take no shit for it I shouldn't have to get used to this Don't treat me like I'm something less Cause I see you got problems with yourself Was it really just all in my head? Cause you messed up my confidence I can't think cause of all this bad weather Boy, I know I don't need your sweater Sweater. Oh no. So throughout the last couple of weeks, we've been asking people to share our posters on Facebook and tell their friends to share the poster. And the deal was for sharing, your name went in for a draw for a, a basket of wonderful prizes donated by local crafters and business people. 
So we're gonna do the draw, and we're so excited to see who <laughs> our big winner is gonna be. So Morley, you can do the honors. Okay. <laughs> You're really mixing them up. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. I have it. I have it. <laughs> oh, and the winner is Nancy Inglis. Oh, awesome! Oh, congratulations. congratulations, Nancy. Who's usually at the concert? So we're yeah. really pleased. Yeah. Right on. Perfect. Hello, my name is Christina Sanford, and I am the same program coordinator at the Every Woman Center. On International Women's Day, I just want to reach out to all the victims, survivors, and overcomers of sexual assault and tell you that we hear you, we see you, we believe you, and we stand with you. This is called my quern, and a quern is the um, small stone hand mill that was used for many thousands of years by women. Um, so it's a, it's a tool that would have been owned by the women of the family um, until they were supplanted by, you know, grist mills that were owned by men. Um, so my quern. In the hard years before we came here, the crops failed, the landlord threatened eviction and beggary, made us pay unjustly to his greedy mill and tried to wrest her from me. I guarded her in the thatchy corner of our cottage roof, for she had come down to me from my mother and grandmother. On the cramped and hungry voyage over the water, and as we walked the rocky shoreline to this new place, my Rory carried her, slung in our blanket, and I with the babe on my back. That first winter we lived with kin, ate sparingly of the meager crop of grain they shared ungrudgingly. We brought the welcome use of her, my queen, my quern, to grind the oats and wheat to meal for toasted oat bread and hot bonnet, for they'd had just the porridge from groats cracked roughly with stones and boiled on the fire. By the next year, through hard labor and help from the ones around, we had a place of our own. The door was always open, and we shared the use of her with family and neighbors who came to talk and sing and grind their evening meal. She was smooth and beautiful, shaped by hand with care, blessed with many prayers, and as we turned the handle, always sunways as in the old ways, we sang the prayer given down from my own mother to bride and Mary for abundance. When I died, my daughters had her, and she fed their happy years, ground the fertile seed that made their families grow, and she had the feeding of them. In time, the village grew. It was a grandson of my own who built the dusty mill, captured the clear water that ran from the green mountain to turn the wheel and grind for all. The men rode in, brought bags of grain, and took home meal and flour, my quern was set aside, but not forgotten. The women remembered they set her on the doorstep to cast a charm upon the place, that those who crossed the threshold would never leave it hungry. And so it has been since then, and will go on. Uh, this is called Wild Girls, and um, uh, just about the childhood of young girls before they really uh, encounter the world very much. Wild girls. In the woods, we play our wild and secret games in the verdant kingdom of adventure, where the clearing merges with the forest and our fathers beat back the trees in their endless battle for subsistence. All paths lead to the interior. A hump wheel truck enmeshed in branches, streaked rust red, and we whisper that it's blood. Thorn brushes thrust up through the rusted engine and we feel the pricks and the quick zip of pain, but the black steering wheel still turns, the rubber gone dusty in our hands. So we travel on elaborate journeys to places we know from maps and postmarks. Moss sponges underfoot, swallows debris, twigs and leaves and spruce cones, the bones of a small animal caught beneath a root smelling only of earth. We dig it out and stroke 
the small white bones, cupping them in warm and grubby hands. We root through a sunken treasure of old medicine bottles, a broken high-heeled shoe, tin cans crumbled to scale, the blue extravagance of face cream bought from away. We come from small and crowded houses, a village of watchfulness, where children are admonished by neighbors. We escape from the country of the grown-ups, of chores and hairbrushes and bedtimes. We escape to the dark places, the untended, the wasteland. Rustles and crackling from deep in the forest, and we start like deer, run wildly, directionless. As we run, the twigs snatch at our faces with long-fingered malice and snarl in our loosened long hair. Half afraid, yet drunk with freedom, we burst from the trees, panting and shouting and stand to see at last and stand before the wide regard of the broad and shining sea. Hey everybody, we're here with Mentors for Seniors. And we're really sad this year because we won't be able to deliver our jokes and I know lots of people are going to miss them. But we really wanted to be part of the show tonight to wish everybody Happy International Women's Day! how can I support the cause tonight? We're going to help you out with that, right Jake? You can e-transfer to helpinghandsewc at gmail.com. We really appreciate your support and we hope you're enjoying International Women's Day. Hi, it's Anne McPhee and I'm here at the New Dawn Center with the Aunt Terry Society's women's transition to employment group participants and we are thrilled to be given this opportunity by the every women's center to wish people a happy international women's day and we hope that on this day you are celebrating with the wonderful talented strong bright creative wonderful women in your lives 
So on behalf of the Anne Terry Society and the Women's Transition Group, we wish you a happy, happy International, International Women's Day. Day. Unfortunately, but we have to do what we have to do. And then someone told me 
You get those, you know, those things on the floor with the feet? Yes, the circle feet. Yeah. Circle. So, someone said they were $5 each. $5 for a left, $5 for a right. Two feet on a sheet, five bucks. Oh no, that's expensive. Yeah, so you know what I had to do. You made it. Feet Perfect. Time. Feet time. What size are they? I think they're about a seven. That'll work. Well, you know, try it out. And I made a special one for some people, and I know they'll get it. Because they know exactly who they are. So they'll ah. know exactly where to stand. Yes, when we say exercise. Yeah. Right foot out. Yeah. Left foot in. That's right. Yeah, they know who they are. That's their stuff. <laughs> so, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we've been following the Premier, and he's saying, everybody get prepared. So we're trying to do that for the eventual day. And uh, so with that, we're going to wish everybody a long weekend. Thanks. Oh, we forgot a story. Oh, tell a story. Won't it? Sorry. No, you've got to tell a story. Okay. So yesterday, we, you know, we forget we have a mask on lots of times. On a shield. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I go to the door, knock at the door, I go to the door, I open it, and the person says, Hey, how you doing there, Wanda, buddy? And then I came back in. Then she like, comes in, straight face, serious. How did they recognize me? I said, oh, for the love of God, you're not wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> she was serious. It was funny. Yeah. So anyway, we're getting used to all this new gadget stuff. So with that, we're going to wish everybody a happy weekend. It is a long weekend. Long weekend. It's a crucial long weekend. Please be careful. Follow the rules. Let's keep the good vibe going of our numbers low, keeping the curve flattened so we can all get out of this sooner rather than later. The sooner the better. Yeah. So sooner. have a good weekend. Hopefully it's sunny. You're going to walk with that on? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Yes. We'll be looking for you on the streets. Too bad the post wouldn't look me up on the street. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody, and have a good week. Have a great week. Hi, I'm Jonna McNeil, and I'm part of the seniors group at the Every Woman Center. I'd like to wish you all a happy International Women's Day, and especially remember my good friend Cheryl O'Coin, who did so much to further the cause of women in the community. Thank you. Am I dreaming or stupid? I think that I've been hit by Cupid. No one needs to know right now. I met a tall, dark, and handsome man. And I've been busy making big plans. And no one needs to know right now. I got my heart set. My feet wet, and he don't even know yet. No one needs to know right now. I'll tell him someday, some way, somehow. But I'm gonna keep it a secret for now. I want bells to ring. A choir to sing, the white dress, the guess, the cake, the car, the whole darn thing. And no one needs to know right now. I'll tell him someday, some way, somehow. But I'm gonna keep it a secret for now. We'll have a little girl, a little
I'm not dreaming I'm stupid Boy, if I been hit by Cupid No one needs to know Right now No, no one, no one No one needs to know Right now International Women's Day. Hi. Hi. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Thank you, Wanda and Diane, for all the help. Bye. She said that it is like these. Sometimes Take time to reminisce For a while Pack it away and let it go Bailey and I am a social worker with intake and investigations for the Department of Community Services Child Welfare. This is a day to recognize women across the world. A day to reflect upon women's liberation in societies across our globe. This is a time to remind women of their achievements and to encourage women of every society to stay strong and continue to progress. I am wishing you all a very happy International Women's Day.
Hi everyone, I'm Robin Martelli. I'm from Whitney Pier. I'm a case manager at Nova Scotia Works Island Employment, and I'm an artist, poet, writer, contributing author, and the co-founder of Powerful Creative. This poem is called Black Girl Magic. My name is Black. I'm a powerful girl. My presence alone rocks the world. They may say your skin's too dark or too light. Let them think what they want. We were mages, right? They may say, girl, your thighs are thick, your lips are too big, your nose is wide, trying to knock our pride. But our smile is bright, thighs thick and tight, lips that are soft, and our personalities rock. Strong, black, and powerful, I know I am. Hold your head high, always reaching for the sky. Some may be intimidated by our independent nature, misconstrue our passion for anger. Quick to label us an angry black girl or woman, not getting to know the awesome soul within. Fighting for our freedom, fighting for our rights, powerful black girls and black women fought. They fought the good fight. We're unique and talented, creatively free. We play instruments, we act, dance, draw, paint, write, and we sing. We're all great creations placed on earth. Powerful girls, powerful women, support each other, know your worth. Powerful girl, you're becoming a queen. We empower, we inspire, we motivate, we dream. To all my powerful girls and women, today we rise and we shall sing. A powerful black girl, a powerful black woman, that's me. Happy International Women's Day, everyone.
So when we started planning this year's International Women's Day concert, and we realized it was going to be a virtual event, at first we were very afraid, wondering, how are we going to do this? And then we found ourselves surrounded by community partners who helped us get the show on the screen. Jamie Foles and Sound Park Studios, Scott Moore and Nova Stream, and Albert Leonays helped us bring the show to you this evening, which we hope you enjoyed very much. The Gaslight Cafe, the Regional Cape Breton Women's Committee, MBS Radio, and a shout out to the Cape Breton Post and CBC Cape Breton for getting the word out there. To all of the performers who shared their talent with us tonight, we appreciate each and every one of you. To all of those who sent in videos on behalf of their agencies or themselves, we thank you so much for being a part of the evening. To all of those who helped get the word out by sharing posts on Facebook, telling your friends, we appreciate you so much. To Morley and Diane, what a team to work with. And to all of you out there for tuning in, which was our plan, we thank you so much for joining us and celebrating this evening. So on behalf of the Every Woman Center, the board and staff, thank you all so much and happy International Women's Day. As we go marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill lofts gray, are struck with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. For the people here are singing bread and roses, bread and roses. As we go marching, marching, we battle to for men, for they are women's children, and we mother them again. Our lives shall not be sweated from birth until life closes. Heart starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. As we go marching, marching, unnumbered women dead, go crying through our singing, their ancient call for bread, smart art and love and beauty, their trudging spirits new. Yes, it is bread we fight for, but we fight for roses too. Marching, marching, we bring the greater days. The rising of the women means the rising of the race. No more the drudge and idler, tend that toil while one reposes. But the sharing of life's glories, bread and roses, bread and roses. From birth until life closes, hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us raw.